This is the season for celebrating all of our holidays. Also getting stuck home sick more than normal. That's not the fun part. While numbers are still relatively low in Arizona, experts are tracking a rise in COVID cases here. The number of weekly flu hospital admissions also continues to rise nationwide. So how does all of this compound together? So we've got Jen Wall. She's live this morning for us out in Mesa. Jen, how are local doctors and hospitals navigating all the illnesses right now? Yeah, good morning to you. Watching those cases very closely, flu and RSV. Uh, doctors say, especially the Arizona Department of Health Services, that flu cases are rising. Those COVID cases still relatively low, according to the CDC. But if you look closer at the Arizona Department of Health Services number, they're showing a 6% increase in cases over the last week. So we're still, still nowhere near those pandemic highs, but it's definitely not an area to let our guard down. Right now, we're getting closer to peak illness season as experts are tracking the possible trifecta of those illnesses, COVID, flu, and RSV. Cases usually peaking, doctors say, at the end of this month and then next month. Doctors add vaccinations are still the best way to prevent those severe illnesses. There are COVID and flu vaccines readily available. However, the CDC estimates fewer than two in five adults and children have gotten the flu vaccine this season. There's still time, though, and Banner Health pediatrician Dr. Ruben Espinosa adds RSV can be very dangerous for young children ages two and younger. There's a new protection, which is a new antibody that provides immunity and a vaccine for pregnant women that can be given between 32 and 36 weeks, and that will pass immunity on to children, medical professionals say. So as far as hospital preparations, Dr. Espinosa adds they have not really let their guard down yet since the pandemic. We already have systems in place in case of a surge in terms of like, you know, making sure we have supplies, making sure we have enough like testing, making sure, you know, uh, we're talking about now a lot about the immunization we're doing, uh, educating our patients. Yeah, and wondering what precautions. It's still all the oldies but goodies. Sneezing into your arm. Staying home if you're not feeling well. And if you have a fever, make sure you're staying home 24 hours after that fever break. So coming up live here in the next hour, we are taking a look at how medical teams are making sure they have all of their bases covered, just like Dr. Espinosa alluded to there. For now, we're live in Mesa. Jen Wall, 12 News, Today in AC.